Hello friends, in our previous discussion we learnt that thermodynamic property diagrams are diagrams used by scientists and engineers to represent the thermodynamic states of a material and the consequences of manipulating this material. For instance, a temperature entropy diagram may be used to demonstrate the behavior of a fluid as it is changed by a compressor. In today's lecture, we shall be discussing about property tables. Property tables are thermodynamic databases containing information about thermodynamic properties for substances, the most important being enthalpy, entropy and Gibbs free energy. Numerical values of these thermodynamic properties are collected as tables or are calculated from thermodynamic data files. These property tables can be found at this link given here and I suggest one should download this document before proceeding further. Saturated liquid and saturated vapor states. The properties of saturated liquid and saturated vapor for water are listed in table A4 and A5 of the downloaded document. Both tables give the same information. The only difference is that in table A4 properties are listed under temperature and in table A5 under pressure. Therefore, it is more convenient to use table A4 when temperature is given and table A5 when pressure is given. The use of table A4 is illustrated here in this figure. The subscript F is used to denote properties of saturated liquid and the subscript G to denote the properties of saturated vapor. These symbols are commonly used in thermodynamics. Another subscript commonly used is Fg which denotes the difference between the saturated vapor and saturated liquid values of the same property. For example, Vf is equal to specific volume of saturated liquid, Vg is equal to specific volume of saturated vapor and Vfg is equal to difference between Vg and Vf. The quantity HFG is called enthalpy of vaporization or latent heat of vaporization. It represents the amount of energy needed to vaporize a unit mass of saturated liquid at a given temperature or pressure. It decreases as the temperature or pressure increases and becomes zero at the critical point. Saturated liquid vapor mixture. During a vaporization process, a substance exists as part liquid and part vapor. That is, it is a mixture of saturated liquid and saturated vapor. To analyze this mixture properly, we need to know the proportions of the liquid and vapor phases in the mixture. This is done by defining a new property called the quality X as the ratio of the mass of vapor to the total mass of the mixture as X is equal to M vapor divided by M total where M total is equal to M liquid plus M vapor and is again equal to MF plus MG. Quality has significance for saturated mixtures only. It has no meaning in the compressed liquid or superheated vapor regions. Its value is between 0 and 1. The quality of a system that consists of saturated liquid is 0 or 0% 0 and the quality of a system consisting of saturated vapor is 1 or 100%. In saturated mixtures, quality can serve as one of the two independent intensive properties needed to describe a state. Note that the properties of the saturated liquid are the same 
whether it exists alone or in a mixture with saturated vapor. During the vaporization process, only the amount of saturated liquid changes, not its properties. The same can be said about a saturated vapor. A saturated mixture can be treated as a combination of two subsystems, the saturated liquid and the saturated vapor. However, the amount of mass for each phase is usually not known. Therefore, it is often more convenient to imagine that the two phases are mixed well, forming a homogeneous mixture. Then the properties of this mixture will simply be the average properties of the saturated liquid vapor mixture under consideration. And now we discuss how it is done. Consider a tank that contains a saturated liquid vapor mixture. The volume occupied by saturated liquid is Vf and the volume occupied by saturated vapor is Vg. The total volume V is the sum of the two as V is equal to Vf plus Vg. We know that V is equal to mv which yields mt v average is equal to mf vf plus mg vg. Also mf is equal to mt minus mg. This yields mt v average is equal to mt minus mg into vf plus mg into vg. Dividing above equation by mt yields v average is equal to 1 minus x into vf plus x vg. Since x is equal to mg upon mt. This relation can also be expressed as v average is equal to vf plus x vfg where vfg is equal to vg minus vf. Now solving for quality we obtain x is equal to v average minus vf divided by vfg. Based on this equation quality can be related to the horizontal distances on a PV or TV diagram. At a given temperature or pressure the numerator of the quality equation is the distance between the actual state and the saturated liquid state and the denominator is the length of the entire horizontal line that connects the saturated liquid and saturated vapor states. A state of 50 percent quality lies in the middle of this horizontal line. The analysis given here can be repeated for internal energy and enthalpy with the following results. U average is equal to Uf plus X Ufg. H average is equal to Hf plus X Hgf. All the results are of the same format and they can be summarized in a single equation as Y average is equal to Yf plus Xyfg. Here Y is V, U or H. The subscript AVG for average is usually dropped for simplicity. The values of the average properties of the mixtures are always between the values of the saturated liquid and the saturated vapor properties that is Yf is less than and equal to Y average and is less than and equal to Yg. Finally, all the saturated mixture states are located under the saturation curve and to analyze saturated mixtures all we need are saturated liquid and saturated vapor data that is table A4 and A5 in the case of water. Superheated vapor. In the region to the right of the saturated vapor line and the temperatures above the critical point temperature, a substance exists as superheated vapor. Since the superheated region is a single phase region that is vapor phase only, temperature and pressure are no longer dependent properties and they can conveniently be used 
as the two independent properties in the tables. The format of the superheated vapor tables is illustrated here. In these tables, the properties are listed against temperature for selected pressures starting with the saturated vapor data. The saturation temperature is given in parenthesis following the pressure value. Compared to saturated vapor, superheated vapor is characterized by low pressures, higher temperatures, higher specific volumes, higher internal energies and higher enthalpies. Compressed liquid Compressed liquid tables are not as commonly available and table A7 is the only compressed liquid table in this text. The format of table A7 is very much like the format of the superheated vapor tables. One reason for the lack of compressed liquid data is the relative independence of compressed liquid properties from pressure. Variation of properties of compressed liquid with pressure is very mild. Increasing the pressure 100 times often causes properties to change less than 1%. In the absence of compressed liquid data, a general approximation is to treat compressed liquid as saturated liquid at a given temperature. This is because the compressed liquid properties depend on temperature much more strongly than they do on pressure. Of these properties, the property whose value is more sensitive to variations in the pressure is the enthalpy H, although the above approximation results in negligible error in V and U, the error in H may reach undesirable levels. However, the error in H at low to moderate pressures and temperatures can be reduced significantly by evaluating it from H is approximately equal to HF at a given temperature plus VF at a given temperature into P minus P saturation at that temperature instead of taking it to be just HF. Note however that the approximation in the above equation does not yield any significant improvement at moderate to high temperatures and pressures and it may even backfire and result in greater error due to overcorrection at very high temperatures and pressures. In general, a compressed liquid is characterized by high pressures, low temperatures, lower specific volumes, lower internal energies and lower enthalpies. But unlike superheated vapor, the compressed liquid properties are not much different from the corresponding saturated liquid values. Reference state and reference values. The value of U, H and S cannot be measured directly and they are calculated from measurable properties using the relations between thermodynamic properties. However, those relations give the changes in properties, not the values of properties at specified states. Therefore, we need to choose a convenient reference state and assign a value of 0 for a convenient property or properties at that state. For water, the state of saturated liquid at 0.01 degree centigrade is taken as the reference state and the internal energy and entropy are assigned zero values at that state. It should be mentioned that sometimes different tables list different values for some properties at the same state as a result of using a different reference state. However, in thermodynamics, we are concerned with the changes in properties and the reference state chosen is of no consequence in calculations as long as we use values from a single consistent set of tables or charts. 
the ideal gas equation of state. Property tables provide very accurate information about the properties, but they are bulky and vulnerable to typographical errors. A more practical and desirable approach would be to have some simple relations among the properties that are sufficiently general and accurate. Any equation that relates the pressure, temperature and specific volume of a substance is called an equation of state. There are several equations of state, some simple and other very complex. The simplest and best known equation of state for substances in the gas phase is the ideal gas equation of state. This equation predicts the PVT behavior of gas quite accurately with some properly selected region. Experimentally, it has been determined that at low pressures, the volume of a gas is proportional to its temperature, that is P is equal to R into T upon V or PV is equal to RT. Here the constant of proportionality R is called the gas constant and this equation is called the ideal gas equation of state or simply the ideal gas relation and a gas that obeys this relation is called an ideal gas. In this equation P is the absolute pressure, T is the absolute temperature and V is the specific volume. The gas constant R is different for each gas and is determined from R is equal to Ru upon M. Here Ru is the universal gas constant and M is the molar mass also called molecular weight of the gas. The constant Ru is the same for all substances. An ideal gas is an imaginary substance that obeys the relation PV is equal to RT. It has been experimentally observed that the ideal gas relation given closely approximates the PVT behavior of real gases at low densities. At low pressures and high temperatures, the density of a gas decreases and the gas behaves as an ideal gas under these conditions. In the range of practical interest, many familiar gases such as air, nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, helium, argon, neon, krypton and even heavier gases such as carbon dioxide can be treated as ideal gases with negligible error, often less than 1%. Dense gases such as water vapor in steam power plants and refrigerant vapor in refrigerators, however, should not be treated as ideal gases. Instead, the property tables should be used for these substances. So friends, here we come to the end of our discussion in today's lecture and therefore we sum up. Property tables are thermodynamic databases containing information about thermodynamic properties for substances, the most important being enthalpy, entropy and Gibbs free energy. In a saturated liquid vapor mixture, the mass fraction of vapor is called the quality. Quality may have values between 0 and 1. It has no meaning in the compressed liquid or superheated vapor regions. The state beyond which there is no distinct vaporization process is called the critical point. Any relation among the pressure, temperature and specific volume of a substance is called an equation of state. The simplest and best known equation of state is the ideal gas equation of state. So friends, that is it for today. In the next lecture, we shall be discussing more about thermodynamics. Thank you very much.